Hey all welcome back once again to my YouTube class guys I am Manjit Rawat your online instructor this is another session of Azure administrator series and in this session we will discuss about how we can manage the Azure AD join services we'll try to understand about each and everything like as a concept why it is important and in which case we need to join our on premises windows 10 machine to azure active directory services right so if we talk about our previous session so in last session we discussed about the identification of azure active directory and also i think we created one user right so now i'm going to move ourselves to the next step according to the agenda according to the curriculum mm -hmm. of microsoft blueprint so the second chapter our second uh, topic is related to the azure ag104 is uh, let me show you is related to the Azure AD join this is implement Azure Active Directory join and also we'll try to understand about the concept of uh, implement uh, self-service password reset right SSPR so these two different points that I'm going to describe in this particular video so let's start about the concept first firstly we just need to know about the importance of these the two different points and after that we'll show you the proper practical step by step practical so let's move ourselves to the concept first and before that if you're new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so do subscribe teach me cloud youtube channel because teach me cloud can give you 100 percent live practical based training not i'm not using any kind of ppt so if you want to be an expert of uh, any cloud technology so definitely teach me cloud can help you so our agenda is azure ad join and sspr service right talk about the concept why it is important so for example this is our azure portal right that uh, we purchase uh, that we purchase any subscription because azure directed IT options are available with all types of subscription maybe it's a free trial pay as you go or msdn or you are using student passes so you are able to access the services of azure directed IT. this is our azure portal okay and over Azure portal, you know that we are able to find one option, Azure AD, right? With the help of Azure Active Directory, we can create a multiple users group that we will discuss properly. And with the help of same Active Directory user, Azure Active Directory user, we will connect our on-premises Windows 10 computer, right? This is our agenda. We will try to connect our Windows 10 machine with the help of Active Directory user, which is considered as a Azure AD join, right? This is our agenda. So what are the prerequisites? So in this case, what you need to do, create AD user, right? And use same user to join the on-premises. Question, why we need to do that? Why it is important? Why we need to do uh, convert our on-premises machine to the part of Active Directory? So we have a various important part. First is enroll device to Intune, right? If you want to enroll your device to Microsoft Intune portal, then Azure AD join can help us. Second important part, if you want to save the security, save the password, save the bit locker key, then Azure AD join can also help us. Third important part, if you want to manage uh, password and uh, user ID and password, account and password for Windows 10, then Azure AD join can also help us. So these all are the agenda you can say that these all are the points that we need to know to configure our AD join services. So what I'm going to do, this is our on uh, Azure uh, portal and over Azure portal, we just need to click on security under the security active directory services click users and we have already created multiple users right uh, we have already created multiple user like as a gcp dot net something so i'm just going to use gcp user this is our user i'm just going to reset the password because i don't know about the password you can create your own password uh, you can create new user i'm just going to reset it because we will use the same user to log in our, uh, to connect our on-premises machine, on-premises Windows 10. Portal.azure.com, the username is gcp at the rate cloud kaksa dot in. Reset the password. You need to provide default password.
step first create a new active directory user on azure portal and we will use the same user to sign in our on premises windows 10 that's it we successfully created our azure active directory user and now this is our on premises windows 10 machine click start and select uh, setting in the setting panel we are able to find accounts just need to click on accounts access work or school just need to click on access work or school and we are able to find the connect right so i'm just going to connect to enroll this particular device to azure active directory portal S click connect and now provide the information about the user that you created gcp at the rate cloud kaksa dot in next so we have already uh, reset the password so just need to provide the password and sign in So it be it may be take up to five to seven minutes, and uh, after that we are able to find the same device, same uh, Windows 10 device with the entire configuration detail over a Azure Active Directory portal. Now you are all set. So just need to click done. Click your user and see we successfully connected. That's why we are able to find disconnect option. Now what I'm going to do? Open your Azure portal again. Select uh, Active Directory Services. In the Active Directory services, we are able to find one option devices, right? We just need to click on devices to verify you successfully enroll your device from on premises to Azure Active Directory. Unmanaged device, right? So we are able to find two devices which is available with unmanaged. Just need to click here. And uh, we just added a device. Today is 26th uh, and uh, 9th of September, uh, 26th of September 2022. And we usage gcp gcp is our user so we successfully enrolled our device we successfully connect our uh, on-premises windows 10 with the with the help of azure ready join services now why it is important what are the practical that you can perform with the help of this particular task so we are able to find bit locker keys no bit locker keys available so what i'm going to do i'm just going to activate the bit locker on on-premises and save the bit locker key over azure ready to uh, for the security purpose means if you forget the password of BitLocker, so Azure Active Directory, Azure AD Join can help you. Open your on-premises system and uh, let me create a OneDrive because I'm, I don't want to configure BitLocker for my existing devices, in uh, existing drives. So that's why I'm just going to create a one 10 gig of hard drive, 10 gig of partition. Okay, etched later. I'm just going to open it. Type any data like data for Azure. You can create any folder. And what we need to do the drive letter is H, right? S click search and type BitLocker. Click on manage BitLocker. You will be find the entire drives that you created. So our drive is uh, new volume BitLock H click and turn on the BitLocker. We have option to configure the password. It's mandatory to provide the password. So I'm just going to use basic password. Next, we are able to find four different options. Save to the Azure AD Connect, save to the USB, save to the file, print the recovery key. So I wanted to save the file keys, recovery keys over a Azure AD. So that's why proceed with first step, first option. next next and start encryption so the capacity of our edge drive is just 10 gb that's why uh, we successfully configured within second and now back to the azure portal and verify you are able to find the keys are not just refresh the page and wait for a few minutes now we are able to find one key is available bit locker key is id available so the keys this is the key if unfortunately if you forget the uh, password of your on-premises drive so this key can help us so guys this is about the azure ready join i hope you all of you understand about the concept of azure ready join and also importance of azure ready join so about the sspr service we will discuss in next chapter thank you take care and bye bye do subscribe teach me cloud youtube channel